Hi Vets, this video is to help you prepare for the OET Veterinary Science Speaking Test. I'm going to explain how to approach a speaking role play, make the most of your preparation time, demonstrate the assessment criteria in your speaking, practice the role play and learn from each role play you complete. Ready? Let's go! The Veterinary Science Speaking Test requires you to role play two different situations with an interlocutor. You will always take the role of the vet in the conversation, while the interlocutor will take the role of the pet's owner. The two role play situations will be quite different to allow you to demonstrate a range of English expressions and functions which are typical for healthcare conversations, including reassuring, explaining, persuading and asking questions. The interlocutor as the pet's owner might also have an emotional response to their pet's health condition, such as anxiety, frustration or sadness, which are all common emotions vets deal with every day and allow you to demonstrate your empathy and ability to manage the owner to make the right choices and decisions for the pet's health. Everything that you learn while preparing for OET speaking will be immediately useful to you when starting your new healthcare role in an English speaking environment and give you the confidence to tackle any situation, from giving bad news to explaining the steps of a healthcare treatment. By demonstrating flexible, accurate English and responding appropriately to the interlocutor, you will demonstrate to the assessor and regulators that you have the language required for a B grade or higher. Before each role play, you have three minutes to prepare for the conversation using the role card. Remember that you can ask the interlocutor questions during the preparation time. If there is a word you don't know the meaning of or how to pronounce, you can ask this during the preparation time and if the interlocutor knows the answer, they can tell you. Let's look at a veterinary science roll card in more detail. There are three sections to the card, the setting, the background information and the list of tasks. Here are my recommendations about what you should do during your preparation time. Notice the setting of the role play. Here it is a suburban veterinary clinic. This tells me that the situation is not urgent and that I may or may not have met this owner and animal before. Look through the background information to find out some details about your patient. For example, their age and any adjectives which describe how the owner is feeling. Here I can see that my patient is a five-year-old female Labrador retriever but I don't have any adjective about how the owner is feeling. I can see that the reason for the visit is to get some results of eye tests done recently, and this is likely to be making the owner feel nervous. This information is useful to think about how I am going to start the role play. When expecting test results, owners generally want to get straight on to discussing these rather than making small talk, so I want to demonstrate understanding of this by explaining the results straight away. Check the healthcare condition the role play will be about from the background information, as well as any useful details which might relate to how the owner will respond to questions and options I suggest during the conversation. I can see that the recent test results have revealed that the dog, PAL, has progressive retinal atrophy, and that I predict that PAL will go blind within about 12 months. This is obviously going to be bad news for the owner, so I will want to deliver this news as gently as possible and be prepared for the owner to be upset. Read the tasks to check what needs to be discussed in the conversation. The verbs starting each task are really important in helping me to understand what I will say and how I will say it. Give the results means to tell the owner the results of the eye test results of PAL. Outline means to tell the owner possible causes while also explaining that there is generally no known cause. Explain means to tell the owner how the dog will compensate for lack of sight while making them feel better by answering any specific questions they have. Make recommendations means to tell the owner some suggestions for how they can assist their dog, including joining a local support group. Give information means to tell the owner about the likely symptoms that will demonstrate the onset of blindness. Lastly, run through this checklist. Is there anything unexpected to the patient in what I'm going to tell them? In this case, the answer is yes. The owner may not be expecting the severity of the results, so this should be communicated sensitively. 
Is there any medical language on the roll card I need to avoid because they won't understand it? Again, in this case, the answer is yes. The name of the condition the dog has, as well as technical terms such as degenerative, retina, etc., are likely to be unfamiliar to the owner, so lay alternatives would be better. Which tasks do I need to spend most time on? From checking the tasks again, I know I can complete all of these tasks quite quickly, but that they are bad news for the owner who might have questions or need empathy for their emotions when they hear the diagnosis. I should aim to allow the owner time to process and respond to each task before I move on to the next one. The OET speaking test is unique in that it simulates the real life conversations you have with your clients as a vet. It's important to remember this once the role play starts because it will help you to communicate naturally and effectively with the interlocutor as a pet owner. Here are a few tips to speaking clearly and demonstrating the assessment criteria. Get the role play off to a good start. You are expected to start the conversation as you would in real life. Make use of the information you picked out in the preparation time to start the role play appropriately for this situation. I know this owner is here for test results for their dog, so I choose to start. Thanks for bringing Pal back in today for the results. I'm afraid it's not good news. This isn't the only option for starting the role play. I know introductions are unnecessary here because I know this owner, but I could start with small talk such as, how is Pal today? But my feeling is that it's best to get onto the bad news quickly so that I can then provide the reassurance and strategies to support the pet and the owner. Take time to listen to the owner and respond to what they tell you. The roll card gives you a lot of information about the conversation, but you cannot know exactly what the owner will say in reply to your suggestions and advice. So make sure you are fully listening to what they tell you. Don't use this time to think about what you are going to say next, or you could miss something important. Show the owner you have listened by responding with something appropriate. For example, the owner may tell you that they are wondering if it wouldn't be kinder to put the dog down. Show you have listened by commenting on what they have just said. That is a very selfless suggestion and shows how much Pal means to you that you are worried about her quality of life. Although there isn't a cure, Pal can actually lead a relatively normal life with this condition and won't be in any pain. Be authentic in your role as a vet. Sometimes you will need to be firm and tell the owner that what they are asking is not good health advice, or at other times you will need to clearly explain a process the owner is unfamiliar with. Do what you need to and make sure you match the tone of your voice to what you are saying. In this task, you need to break some bad news. To do this, make your voice sound warm, use kind vocabulary choices and don't speak too fast. The test results show that Pal has a disease on part of her eye called the retina, which isn't going to get better and isn't something we can treat. I'm sorry to say it does mean she will likely go completely blind. Remember that this situation is new to the owner. Pets can be healthy for many years of their lives and one pet may not have the same health problems as another. Owners can feel anxious because their pet cannot communicate how they are feeling and they don't like to think that they are in pain. Although you might have talked about progressive retinal atrophy many times before, this is new to the owner. Try to put yourself in the owner's shoes and think about what you would want to know about the condition if this was the first time you were discussing it. There are a number of ways you can practice the role play with a family member, a friend or a colleague. It's important that you only look at the vet's card before you practice so that you are only getting the same amount of information that you do in the test. If you print off the roll cards, tear or fold the page in half so you only have your card or if you are looking at the task online, change the size of the card so you can only see your part. Ask your owner to play their role fairly. If the task says they are worried, they should use language to show this. If it says they are frustrated, then similarly they should use language to show this. OET role plays will never use extreme emotions like anger or tears, but it will help you prepare if you feel that slight pressure which comes from facing an owner who is feeling negative and trying to help them. Record the conversation on your phone so you can listen back to yourself afterwards. 
You can also use your phone as a timer to alert you when five minutes is complete. If you turn your phone face down in front of you, it will still be able to record while you will not be tempted to keep checking how much time is left, which is something you cannot do in the test. At the end of the role play, ask the friend or colleague who took the role of the owner how they felt during and after the conversation. Did they feel informed and supported during the conversation? Or was anything confusing leaving them uncertain and with questions at the end? Consider this feedback and how you can improve on this for next time. Once you've practiced this role play, make sure you don't miss out on the extra ways you can use it to improve your English and prepare for OET. Here are four things you can do with any role play card to get the most value out of it. Assess your recording against the assessment criteria. The criteria are free to download from the OET website and contain both a description of the linguistic and communicative criteria you are assessed on, as well as the evidence of what the assessors are looking for to be able to score you at the different levels. Take each criterion in turn, read the evidence statement for each level and critically decide which statement is the best match for your speaking in the recording. Practice the role play again with a different partner or by changing a small variable of the role play, for example by changing the patient's age or the emotion the owner is feeling about the situation. Think about the different language you might need to use for this role play if the patient was a puppy or the owner feels unable to cope with the news. Or notice the questions and responses the different partner uses when repeating the role play with somebody else. Each owner is different, so although you are using the same cards, you need to be prepared to be flexible and communicate with this individual rather than preparing a set of phrases you hope to use each time. Use the role card as a basic outline for a writing task. Imagine you are referring this owner and their dog to the local support group. Use the details from the owner's card and your recording to explain the background to the situation and what has been discussed today. Request the group leader contact the owner to provide details of their regular meetings and the benefits of joining the group. Search the internet for podcasts on progressive retinal atrophy or medical journal articles covering recent developments in the treatment of the condition to practice your skills for the reading and listening parts of the test. Candidates tell us that the preparation they do for the OET speaking test is immediately useful when they enter the English speaking healthcare workplace and gives them the confidence that they can speak to any patient on any topic. For more videos and speaking test strategies to help you prepare, Follow our social media channels on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram at OfficialOET and search the OET blog available on our website.